Shall we bow our heads in prayer for Brother Kanye West? Um, we need to, you know, he said he could take his money and go. Good morning. Good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> let me let me start right there, okay? Uh, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now that Kanye West know that everybody is on that behind. You know, he's talking about how he could take his money and go off to some island and live happy. He don't have to be enlightening the, I guess, the the drones, right? I suggest that you do that, bro. I suggest that you do that before they find you stinking someplace. Because that's what you, that's going to be your next trip. Let me say this to you. And I think I can speak for Donda. Donda, your mama. Remember her? I think I can say, speak this, right? And I ain't talking about just a name, the name of school after her. I'm talking about some of the things that she taught you about being a black man in America. Okay? Well, let's start right here. Kanye, you're not that deep. We've been through the greats. John Henry Clark. I mean, uh... Ben Yakinen, we Muhammad Ali, we we've seen innovation and revolution, and John Lennon, we've seen it in our lifetime. Who in the hell do you think you are? That listen, that goes to show you, brother, how you need to go see your therapist, and and I don't mean the ones you've been seeing. That's probably pumping you just with so much medicine that you talking crazier and crazier. Maybe you need to get one that is more um, culturally appropriate for your black head behind. Because obviously, you actually think you so deep and you so above everybody because you can make a freaking beat. Dude, do you know how many... Do you know that... People come a dime a dozen that know how to make beats, and everybody that know how to make music is not rich and famous, not because they don't want to be, because they don't chase that shit. They know what it is. They know what that is. And they know who runs it. Let me tell you something. The reason why white people is in trouble right now, and they will be in according to the universe, is because... They done came on somebody else's land, ran them off, claiming as their own, and it's called thievery. Okay? And so they've gone generation after generation of stealing. And there is a natural universal consequence for stealing. Oh, you don't got to take my word for it. Take that Bible that y'all love to read, or that Quran, or the, what you like to read. What whatever spiritual deities that you honor. Nobody likes a liar. Lying is the first one, but yet and still they lie to us every day. Okay, now they don't lie to you. And at first they told you you was the best thing through, since. Uh, what, sliced bread? And we all bought your music. I know my daughter brought me a, a, a college dropout. And I thought that was one of the most, you know, profound albums of the time. Not because you so great, but because I know Clear Channel and all the Tavistock Institute, them people have created an avenue for the real music. It can be heard, and only crazy music can be heard. See, I've been around the game long enough to know that. Okay? The music that y'all listening to now is all directed, and it was a master plan to make you behave like this, to make you, to throw money into gangster rap, to throw money into destruction, to throw money into self-hatred, because see then it doesn't take white supremacy to do a lot of work. Y'all doing it through the music, like Lucifer did. But you got artists like 
So they, they made your appetite thirst for more blood, like vampires. But you got artists like Eric Benet, and don't say, oh man, ain't nobody got time. Or you got artists that sing, you got artists that, that make music that sounds good. They can't even get a shot. They can't even get played no more. So you've changed the trajectory of the person's mind. It's like when you put a record on a, a needle, on a, a diamond needle on a record. You know how it forms grooves? They done turned y'all grooves all the way off. Y'all on some real low vibrational type of stuff. Okay? And the reason that was done, Kanye, is so they could look at you like a genius. Well, a certain element. But those of us who have saw and witnessed, bear witness to greatness, we know you ain't talking about nothing that ain't nobody else talked about. You ain't that deep, brother. Okay? you. I mean, you're not. All the stuff you said has been said. Malcolm said it. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said it. Marcus Garvey said it. Angela Davis said it. I mean, what? In the, I mean, Fred Hampton said it. Your homeboy. Bobby Seal, he said it. Huey Newton said it. They was on some real deep stuff. They was on some um uh uh um uh what's the what's the guy's name that they was listening to? I can't think of his name. That the the Chinese philosopher. Um I can't think. Was it Ho Chi Minh? Somebody. I mean, listen, all I'm trying to my, my point I'm trying to make is honey, you're not that deep. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're talking crazy, so crazy, but you don't see that because in that craziness is a genius, and I'm gonna give you that. In the madness is a genius, okay, that knows how to create music, that knows how to use the left side, the right side of the brain very well, okay, and so we honor you for that. I don't honor you no more after college dropout because you lost you lost me alone after that. Okay? In fact, you a long way from home. And I don't know who's your da daddy, Donald Trump, or your uh, biological father. I don't know which one you claim. But I do know you think you're going to run for president in 2024 and take votes away from the De uh, Democratic Party and give to the, uh, I mean, just to disturb things. You don't want to be an agent of chaos because you're being used too. Looks like Candace Owens used you. And her husband. Everybody going to start taking advantage of you, dude, because they see your mind is, is, is moving too rapid, like mania. And, and and I'm going to tell you, I've been around enough musicians and around enough... I, hell, I'm a musician. <laughs> we crazy. I'm, except I'm the only one going to be real enough to say it. But like I said, everybody don't have to live their life in front of a camera. And that's something that I never wanted to do. But don't get it twisted. I know exactly what's going on. I, I was signing my first contract. At 12 years old. Okay? ABC Records for those of y'all who remember. But let me tell you something. I'm looking at my music floating around the internet right now when I was 11 and 12 years old. That's Love by Sugar Hill. I'm looking at all my old stuff. Um, because when, um, before the machine got a hold of me, I knew I got out. Oh, my road is not as easy as yours, and I've had a lot of struggle since then. But guess what? I'm whole, brother. I'm as whole as I can be. And money don't make me. I make it. And I feel bad for the space you in right now. Because money don't fix everything. What they do is they find you stinking. Money don't fix everything. 
Look at Whitney. Look at Michael. Prince. So what I'm suggesting that you do, with all due respect to you, brother, is take a vacation. And all these people sticking these mics up in your mouth so you can give them the clickbait of the day, you better beware. Now you done bought a damn uh, oh God, Candace Owens, your girl. You, you done bought a platform that you think you're going to be able to speak freely on. But you're not. Because some of that stuff you said, it don't need to be said. It's been said before, but it's been said in a different way by somebody not so manic. All you got to do is look. Ain't nothing new under the sun. And you need to stop that. You need to stop it. And I'm saying it now because I'm worried about your men. I'm worried about your body, dude. They're going to find you somewhere stinking. You keep it up. Keep it up. Because I know what they do. Ask Sam Cook. Talk, uh, uh, project his spirit onto you. Talking about he got shot and then they said, Ed James them said when they saw him in a, a casket, he had so many knots on his head. And I know what that looked like because my brother laid in the casket with knots on his head. And it's something you'll never forget. I said, oh, he had the shit beat out of him. Okay. I don't want that for you, Kanye. Back off. And for all of y'all who sticking a mic in his face for clicks and views, if when, when, when he is found somewhere stinking, I want the blood to be on y'all hands. I want the blood to be on y'all hands because y'all let money take y'all such to a crazy place where you watch your brother crying out for help because he's crazy. I ain't making no excuses for him because all crazy people don't talk like that, but I'm talking about that crazy one is. I'm on... Okay. I wish I had some help in here today. Y'all, listen. I know the Johnny Carson stalker. I know Ken Gall's the one that that, that 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 came down to L.A. from Milwaukee. All right. I, he he's a family. He was a family friend of my family. Somebody I've known all my damn life. Okay. And it was brilliance in his madness. But Johnny Carson didn't owe him all that money. Neither did uh, Jane Kennedy and all the rest of them that he came there stalking. All I'm trying to say to you is, for those of y'all that really care about Kanye, stop throwing a microphone in his mouth. Stop throwing a microphone in the man's mouth and let him take a vacation somewhere with people that really care about him, if there's any. But I know they care about. I know they care about your money. That's their God. And you fell into that that trap now. So I'm a, I'm gonna let it go. I'm a, I'm I'm done with it. I had to get that rant off. But I'm concerned about you, not because of the stupid stuff you say, because I know you that you 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 don't know what this. Hidden hand got planned for people like you. Keep talking greasy the way you're doing. You'll see. With that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. Feel free to, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to know what y'all think. Y'all think I'm wrong? You think I'm wrong? You think that I'm at Kanye? Huh? Is that... I want to know. I want to hear your opinion. All right, I'm signing off.